come back tonight with uh, Ezekiel chapter 30. Still having issues with my uh, laptop, my YouTube account. Still, for some reason, it, it won't um, connect to my internet. So I don't know why, what's going on with that. So I'm going to do it on my phone again. So I'm going to start doing it on my phone for now on. So anyway, um, chapter 30 of Ezekiel talks about this. And a landmate for Egypt. Chapter 30. This is the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord God, is Christ. Well, says, Well, I last for the day, for the day is near. The day of the Lord is near. It will be a day of clouds, a time of doom for the nations. A sword shall come upon Egypt, and anguish shall be in Cush, which is Ethiopia, Ethiopia today. When the slain fall in Egypt, and her wealth is carried away, and her, and her foundations are torn away. What God's saying here is that, of course, he's tired of, he's tired of Egypt always, always threatening to attack Israel. He's tired, he's tired of them wanting to, he's tired of them wanting, wanting to, come, to come against Israel. So, um, he's tired of it. So, of course, you know, before this, in the previous chapter, he, uh, God sends the Babylonians into Lebanon to destroy Lebanon because of them trying to attack Israel. So he sends Babylon, sends Babylon to Lebanon to attack Lebanon to destroy Lebanon. Now Egypt's starting to do the same thing. Egypt starts starting to threat, uh, threaten Israel. They're, they're starting to attack Israel. And God's getting tired of it. So God eventually, you know, Egypt, Egypt, Egypt doesn't listen to God. So eventually God says, you know, the heck with it. And he sends Babylon to Egypt to destroy them and eventually kills Pharaoh. So this is what it's talking about. So you know you never threaten you know, you never threaten Israel. You sure don't threaten God's children, because God will come after you if you do. So um it says uh and her wealth is carried away, her foundation are torn away. Verse five. Cush which is the Ethiopia today, and Put, which is Libya, and Lud, which is Turkey, and all of Ar and all of Arabia, which is Saudi Arabia, and Libya, and the people of the land that is in the league shall fall with them by the sword. I mean, God's telling, God's telling Egypt and its allies, which are Ethiopia, Lib Libya, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, He's saying, look, if you're going to be aligned with Egypt, if you're going to you know, continue supporting Egypt after what they're doing to Israel. I will come after you also, and God ends up doing. God comes after. God sends Babylon to Egypt, destroys Egypt, just destroys it, and, and they go all the way down to uh, where Ethiopia, where Ethiopia, e e says again, where Ethiopia is today, tongue tied, and then actually over to our uh, Libya is, and where Saudi Arabia is at also, and um. They actually took they actually took a portion of uh, Turkey also, which is Lud. And um, anyway, when we look at the map here, and I'll show you here in a minute. Um, when you study the Babylon Empire, they stretch from where Iraq is at today, all the way over to where Egypt Egypt is at today. I mean, they covered a vast amount of land. Um, very big, very big empire. So it says uh, verse five, Cush, which is Ethiopia, Put, which is Libya, and Lo, which is Turkey, and all of Arabia, which is Saudi Arabia and Libya, and the people in the land that is in the least shall fall with them by the sword. So like I said, God's saying, look, if you if y'all will, God's saying, you know, if you're going to continue supporting Egypt, um, you know, Egypt is starting to attack Israel. If you're going, you know, see, town in Ethiopia, Libya, Turkey, you know, and Saudi Arabia, if you're going to continue supporting Egypt. And I will come after you also, and God does. Verse six. Um, of course, by the, by the, you know by the way of the Babylonians. Verse six. Thus says the Lord: Those who support Egypt shall fall, like I just said, and her proud might shall come down. For Migdol to Syene, which are two cities in Egypt, they shall fall within her by the sword, which is war, declares the Lord God, who is of course Christ. And they shall be desolated or destroyed in the midst of the desolated countries, and their seas shall be in the midst of the cities that are laid waste. And then they will know that I am the Lord, and when I have set fire to Egypt, and all of her helpers are broken. On that day, messengers shall go out from, 
from me in ships to terrify the, the unsuspecting people of Cush or, or Ethiopia. And anguish shall come upon them on the day of Egypt's doom. For behold, it comes. This says the Lord God, who is Christ. I will put an end to the wealth of Egypt, and God is going to destroy the riches of Egypt. But the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, which is Iraq, he, he and his people with him, the most ruthless of nations, shall be shall be brought into uh, just as shall be brought into destroy the land, and they shall draw their swords against against Egypt and fill the land with slain. And I will dry up the Nile and will sell the land to the hand of evil of evil doers. I will, I will bring desolation upon the land and everything in it. But the hand of foreigners, I am the Lord, I have spoken. So whatever God says goes. That's it. Whatever God says, like I said, it goes. God always keeps his promises. There's no doubt about that. Thus says the Lord God, I will destroy the idols who recourse false gods um, and put an end to the images, which are really demonic images, in Memphis, Egypt. There shall no longer be a prince from the land of Egypt, so I will put fear in the land of Egypt. I will make Pathros a desolation and will set fire to Zone, which are two seas in Egypt today. Pathros and Zone. It was, <clears throat> it will execute judgment on Thebes, which is a city in Egypt. And I will pour my wrath on Pelusum, which is, which is Egypt, the stronghold of Egypt, and cut off the multitude of Thebes, which is Egypt, Egypt also. I will set fire to Egypt. Pelusum shall be in great agony. Thebes shall be shall be breached, and Memphis shall face enemies by day. The young men of of On and Pi Besseth shall fall by the sword, and the women shall go into captivity. At which I say this right, this is a long word. At Telephenus, <coughs> the day shall be dark. When I break there, the, says when I break there, the yoke bars of Egypt, and her proud might shall come to an end in her. She shall be covered by a cloud, and her daughters shall go into captivity. Thus I will execute judgment on Egypt, and they will know that I am the Lord. Egypt shall fall to Babylon. In the eleventh year, in the first month, on the seventh day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, I have broken the arm of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And behold, it has not been bound up to heal it by binding it with a bandage, so that it may become strong to with the sword. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and will break his arms, both the strong arm and the one that was broken, and I will make the sword fall from his hand. I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and disperse them through the countries. And I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, and put my sword in his hand. But I will break the arms of Pharaoh, and he will groan before him like a man mortally wounded. I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, but the arms of Pharaoh shall fall. Then they, will, then they shall know that I am the Lord, when I put my sword in the hand of the king of Babylon, and he stretches it against the land of Egypt. And I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them throughout the countries, and they will know that I am the Lord. So there you go. So, um, chapter 30 talks about the alignment for Egypt. Um, you know, God warns Egypt. Not to attack Israel if you keep attacking them, if you keep threatening them. God says, he, and God tells Egypt that He's gonna come against them. He does by sending Babylon to Egypt, destroying it. Yeah. So that's why also what happens when you know when God gives you several warnings and you don't listen to God and you don't repent of your sins. What's He gonna do? He's not something bad until you, you wake up. He did that with me. So trust me when I say that. Sometimes God has to allow something bad happen to us for us to wake up and come back to Him. And that says Egypt, shall, Egypt, Egypt ends up falling to Babylon, which is Iraq. And they have they have a map here. I don't know how to do this on my phone. I may have to make another video, but um, or I'll just do it this way. It says uh, it says either Ezekiel prophecies. Oh my bad. Yeah, Ezekiel prophesies against Egypt. 571, 571 B.C. Ezekiel prophesied that even the great nations of Egypt and its allies would fall to the Babylonians, who already who already occupied the land of Israel and Judah. Um, the rule of the rule of the Babylonians would eventually extend as far as the borders of Cush, referred to elsewhere as Ethiopia. None of the great cities of Egypt would be spared would be spared Babylon's wrath. So, like I said, Babylon the Babylonian Empire stretched from Iraq. All the way over to where Egypt's at today. 
all the way down to the Egyptian or all the way down to the Ethiopian border. I mean, so it was a huge empire. Um, stretched, you know, it stretched many, many. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of the word. Um, it just, it just, it just stretched, stretched a long ways. I'm trying to say, but um, it just it stretched you know, massive, and um, but yeah. But uh, you know that's what happens though. When God gives you several warnings and you don't listen to Him, it's a lot of bad things happen. It happened to me. You know, and then and then you wake up and you're like, you know, why? You, know, you, know, you wake up and you're like, you know, God, thank you for waking me up, make me realize you know what I'm doing, and forgive me for what I've done, help me repent, help me live my life right, right for You, and then and then He will forgive you. But you gotta be willing to repent of your sins and live your life of Christ. So um, that's chapter thirty, and I will be back with thirty-one um, here shortly.